Hello guys, welcome again to a beautiful episode of SMS. I bring you whatever is happening in the world of showbiz and other uh, section or other stuffs. Whatever is happening, I bring it to you right here. Over the week, Ayat has been trending. And many people are wondering why Ayat has been trending. If you don't know Ayat, Ayat is a Ghanaian-based musician who uh, has dropped a lot of bangers, bangers, upon bangers, bangers, upon bangers. But over the week... Your man, they trend. People that ask you, why I had the trend? His name be Kirani Ayat. Now, Ayat gets, he gets Saki, he gets Guda, he gets uh, Kudi, he gets Diasa. All those songs are songs from Ayat. And now, over the week, what is making Ayat trend? That is what I'm digesting to you right here. So, don't forget, just subscribe to the channel, hit uh, the notification bell, and then leave a comment under this video. Now, you know, way back in 2020, while celebrating or getting to the Christmas section, the theme for uh, people that were coming to the country, you know, now we name say it be year of return. So as 2020, we celebrate the year of return finishing or 2021, fast forward, you can't then beyond the return. So now after beyond the return, now 2022, we are heading towards Christmas. So uh, the Minister of Tourism decided to create something so that people from the diaspora who are coming home will, we have a team for them that starts now the ministry of tourism the call this one say visit ghana 2022 and as part of visit ghana 2022 you know see then for create some ad way like we go to play for tv then other stuff since they go attract people within they that are uh, abroad i mean the diasporans if they don't want to come ghana now this be where the issue they as then do the ad you now, then go take uh, Kirani Ayat in short, I mean, some uh, snippet from in video, in Guda video, where they take do this particular ad. Now, Ayat studio can talk, say, you don't know why they for use that video do the ad. Because way back in 2018, 2019, as he do this video, he reached out to the Ministry of Tourism, say, he don't want to make them use this particular video, promote tourism in the northern sector. Now, the Ministry of Tourism or even the, the whole government self, no, they don't mind them, they don't reply them. So if they shock, say, right, you know, then, then they use that same video where you reach out to them, they don't do, you know? then they use that same video, take do promo without in consent. Nobody reach out to them, nobody can say anything to them or nobody request anything from inside. Where now, you know, did they use that particular video do add? Now, this be, this be what I had said. But before Ayat quoted this tweet, it was the president's official Twitter handle that posted the video, which included Ayat's uh, video, I mean, snippet of Ayat video uh, that, uh, from the Guda music video. Now, if you don't know the Guda, go to Ayat's uh, channel, go check it out. You see the Guda, and then now you come watch this particular one. But before then, let's, let's quickly play the ad for the 20, uh, Visit Ghana 2022 that was posted on the president's platform let's let's work this again beneath the deep blue sky the black star is calling follow the stars and let them take you on a journey of our people country where the sun shines on all 365 days of the year. Capturing the stories of our kings and queens above. Experience of our castles and forts built on the sweat of a people full of dignity. I 
am Nana Adedankwa Kufuadu, and I'm the proud president of the country at the center of the world, Ghana. Yeah, so as pre the president in hand, you know, we don't know who the manager, but as they post this thing for the official tweet, uh, Twitter handle for the president, you know, Ayat can say, say, the president of Ghana has used my video, Guda, in this ad to promote Ghana. I was actively reaching out to the Ministry of Tourism in 2018-2019 to use this video to push tourism in the north and got no reply. Me say as as I said no 2018-2019, you won't made them use this particular video promote the northern sector, but you got no reply. Yet today it is in an ad and no one read out to me for permission. Now that's be where the, the whole incident they come from. You see you don't get problems and they use the video, but at least they have to seek permission from him because that is his intellectual property. And you know, in uh, copyrights, as part of copyright infringement, using someone's intellectual property amount to infringement, you know. So that'd be what Ayat can talk. Now, after that one, no, Charlie, people they drag up and down, up and down. As we talk selfie, we need the trend number one for Twitter. So as we are saying, we can bring you this SMS. I mean, social media says. Now, in response to whatever Ayat has been saying, I mean, Kerani Ayat uh, accusing the president of using his intellectual property without uh, seeking permission. Now, the Ministry of Tourism also comes out with this publication saying, our attention has been drawn to a tweet by Kerani Ayat and a publication by Ghana Web regarding the video produced by the Ghana Tourism Authority which has been shared on our platforms since 2019 and recently on the social media handles of the president. For the record, the footage in question was acquired legitimately from a bespoke creative agency as part of a project in 2019. So now what the Ministry of Tourism, the talk BC, this thing on the NC come legitimately from uh, an agency now this is where people have problem with because the ministry was supposed to indicate the agency so if we have questions to ask we go straight to the agency and then ask them all these questions but here's the case now the the, the agency is question is lurking all right so it says um this video has thus been played severally locally and internationally without any issue the content was used in accordance with the terms agreed with the agency and not as being alleged, according to clause 2B of the MOU, I mean MOU, uh, Memorandum of Understanding, signed with the agency, into bracket, obligations, responsibility of the agencies. Now it says, the agency was to deliver Im imaginative and impactful, impactful social strategies, such as content or documentaries, for the use of GTA as it is so wishes. Agency delivered the content to the authority and the authority used the content in accordance with the terms of the memorandum of understanding. So now what them that talk be say then seek all the legitimate like uh, things with them for do no you know be them now then take everything give this particular agency so it is the agency that is taking care of whatever is going on whatever is going to be used in producing this particular ad you know it goes on to say the above the above notwithstanding since the authority became aware of the tweet from Kirani Ayat we have read out to the agency to deal with the matter. This is without prejudice or any legal options available to the authority against the artist and or agency or vice versa. The authority has been very supportive of the arts and has created platforms for engagement and, plat and performances for our artists. And we will continue to do so in our quest to make Ghana the preferred 
tourism destination. So this is what the agency has brought out uh, concerning what Ayat said earlier on. This is making Ayat trend because he feels that if using his intellectual property without a consent, without seeking any um, attention or seeking any consent from him, uh, meanwhile, this same documentary, this same video that you people are using is what he read out to you way back in 2018, 2019, for it to be used as a, a promotional something in, in reg uh, with regards to tourism in the north. But Charlie, they know my own man. Fast forward, Aya didn't make this rest. Now he, re he responded to whatever the tourism authority is saying. Now he says, in response to the statement issued this morning by the Ghana Tourism Authority, so it is Ghana Tourism Authority, that is the that, that, that aspect of it. Now, Ghana Tourism Authority is under the Ministry of Tourism. I, Kirani Ayat, would like to categorically state that no agency has any rights whatsoever to my intellectual property. I have not given right to any agency to use my likeness or work on my behalf. As such, there is no agency agreement and I find it telling that the name of this supposed agency was not revealed in the statement. So that be what now they talk now. As the agency, I mean the, the, the Ghana Revenue, uh, I mean the Ghana um, Tourism Authority, as they bring out the publication, they no indicate the particular agency where they give this contract to. So now who are we asking? Where are we going to seek clarifications from? That is what Ayat is also saying here. That no, they didn't mention any name uh, in the statement. He continues to say, Likewise, the Ghana Tourism Authority has also not been given any right to use my video in any of their promotional materials. As an independent artist and sole owner of the song used in the Visit Ghana ad campaign, I have no agreement with any government or private entity to use my intellectual property. The agency in question needs to be named and signed documents made publicly available that demonstrate clearly when, where, and under whose authority the supposed agreement was signed. Now, people the talk say, Charlie, this thing will happen. No? He they promote Ayat. He say, like, those where they don't know Ayat, no? they go, if they work this other, they go see, say, yeah, Ayat did the music industry inside as promotional something for Ayat. Now, this is where the question is. In that particular video, you don't see the face of Ayat. It was snippets, like, I mean, from the video. Some scenes in the video is where the, is what was used. In the ad, you don't see the face of him, neither the song. So, what did they talk? Say, it be this thing where they can promote Ayat. No, this, I beg you people, make it come again. So, now Ayat is saying he doesn't have any any contract with any agency or any government official or something, something. So, right now, no, what your man, the talk be saying, you know, Charlie, then claim in intellectual property. So, now the thing go talk, it go turn court matter or you know, go. Turn court matter. We don't know whatever is going to happen next. Whatever happens, I'll bring it to you right here. My name is Kisiyama. This is why Ayat has been trending on Twitter and all other platforms in both uh, the traditional media as well. I mean, TV and radio uh, is the talk of the day. Now, you can also give us whatever you think about this particular video. Is it that Ayat, was, uh, Ayat should have kept mute for this to slide? Or... The Ghana Tourism Authority didn't do their, their due diligence or they did, but the agency, now the agency, we don't know which kind of agency they are talking about here. Yeah? So what do you also think? What do you also suggest? What do you also think Ayat should do? Should he go straight and then seek legal action or he should just let this slide? My name is Christian. Whatever happens, I bring it to you right here on the platform. Don't forget to subscribe and then hit on the notification bell. As I bring you more interesting SMS, whatever social media is saying, I bring it to you here so you also get to watch whatever is happening in the world of showbiz uh, and other social issues. Until then, I say bye-bye.